friends and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute since I've been on and life has been lifing and I've got some fun boxes here and I want to get into them so I'm going to open them up and show you what we've got inside. Okay and so I am back and I did want to say that I have been away a little bit. I've had friends visiting from out of state and so I have spent a great long um little time away visiting with them and uh, you know just enjoying my summer and uh, I want to thank my Dolly friends who and they know who they are who were kind enough to check in on me and make sure everything was okay they hadn't seen me post in a while and so they thought about me and that really that really touched my heart very deeply you know who you are and i love you and i thank you for that it's always nice that we have people and friends in our dolly community that you know are paying attention and looking out for one another and that is a blessing a real blessing anyway um i did have a great time um as you know we're going to be gearing up and getting ready for back to school and so I have just been um, kind of doing that and trying to be in the moment with family and friends and so um, you know it puts a new perspective when you come back on and you've got dolly packages and fun things waiting for you and um, these packages are from Junie Moon I am gonna blame yes I'm gonna blame Tammy Powley over at uh, Peace Craft Dolls for this and I'm also going to blame uh, Karen over at Starch and Stitches. If you don't know about those channels, but I'm sure you do, please go check them out. I'm going to have a link in my description box for them so you can go check them out. And they're always doing fun things with their dolls. But lately, Tammy has been really doing this wonderful Blythe chat, and I really I like it. It's, it's very fun, and she always brings some neat uh, perspective to uh, Blythe, Blythe Collecting, and just the new merchandise that's coming out. These, as I say, are from Junie Moon, and these were like sale items that I could not resist. And I love how they package these items so beautifully. They give you these little extras just so you can be tempted by more goodies. And yes, I have been tempted by her as well. I'm going to get into their shipper boxes, and I'll be right back. So as you can see, I have an oldie but a goodie, and she's pretty much in every uh, Blythe Dog Collector's um, collection. And this is Float Away Dream. She's an oldie but a goodie, and I have her for a specific reason that I plan on doing something with her later on. And this gal right here is for me, and she's definitely the one for me. I love her box. It's a very cool graffiti style. I love the looks, the shoes, the accessories that they show on here. She's super duper cool. And honestly, I could not resist the prices over at Junie Moon. I think they are uh, more than comparable and fair to uh, the other um, sites that you can find stock blithes on and even secondary market they are you know really i think superior even factoring the shipping and the tax and all that i think you still get a better deal at least i got a better deal i got a way better deal on her than you can find most anywhere and that is including with the tax and shipping granted these these items i can't help but say they were on sale and there was no passing them by they did, um, you know, they do fluctuate uh, with their prices and things. I think at times they kind of go up and down much like anything, but uh, we're going to get into her. I'm going to open up her and we're going to have a look-see. I know that other people have shown her, but I'm really excited and uh, we'll get into that. So hold on just a second. So here is the beautiful You Are For Me. I love the coloring on her face that beautiful matte lip. She's so pretty, this beautiful, it's like a spring summer floral dress and the shoulders. I'm gonna take her out of here so not to worry. But another thing that really sold me on her were these shoes. I absolutely love the platform heels and the second look. So we're gonna get her out and have a better look at You Are For Me. Gotta love those red, red earrings too, love her so pretty and I will get her out. So here she is my friends and I'm really glad that I spared you uh, unboxing her. I know that there are a lot of people that do um, 
the unboxing videos and they take their time. Well, I, I will try to show, but right now I wanted to show you how beautiful she looks in her dress. She's got her beautiful phone wallet case with a little floating heart charm. She's got these beautiful scrunchy little silk socks and these beautiful, beautiful um, platform shoes that I love that are so strappy. Here is this gorgeous, gorgeous face of hers. And I will do the eye clicks here for you. Let's see. Right now, this looks almost like a peridot, although I know it's supposed to be silver or gray. It's kind of got like a greenish or um, like jade hue to it. It's very bizarre, but I do like that. I'm going to have to check to see what they say the color is on that. I don't think it's coming up on my camera, but the click is much different. She's got this bright, bright sky blue, really pretty, not really a cobalt, not really a turquoise, but just beautiful and it matches her dress perfectly. Again, that click. Here's this bright emerald green, like gorgeous, really pretty. Those are those heart red earrings. And here is her beautiful red mani that matches the earrings perfectly. And then let's see for the fourth eye click. Here it is. And look at the tan, like Cafe Ole shading of the um, eyeshadow. And then this pink which is really not like your average pink. It's more of like um, a salmon. It's really pretty. I, I don't, I'm not mad at that at all. It's really a nice variation of the pink eye. And then back to this like jade eye color. It's really pretty. Love that. Love her hair. It is, you know, a little bit dry at the ends, which is okay. And I love the bangs. And I did give her, as they have in her stock photos, a little hair up and hair down. I think she looks so dreamy. I really love this doll. And as I say, if it were not for Tammy Powley and Karen showing their uh, their dolls, um, they, they've just been really uh, pushing me to go to the site. And I have visited and I have refrained, but... I couldn't with her. I really loved, it's almost like a white, but it's more of a platinum blonde hair, which I really, really, really like. I'll show my float away dream because I have something special that I want to do with her later. Maybe we'll take a look. Now, this is the um, Juliet, I believe, the anniversary uh, doll. And I, I am very tempted by her. I do like her a lot, but uh, this You Are For Me really just kind of won me out. There she is. This is the anniversary doll. And this is just a beautiful little uh, daily planner, which is nice to have. And some notes for the back. And I'm really, really pleased with that. That was a nice little freebie gift. And maybe I'll show these guys as well. Or shall I show the second look? I've got a couple of ways that I can do this. Yeah, I'll probably show her second look and then maybe I'll reserve these for another day, although I'm sure you probably know what those are. You are for me because she's such a lovely little girl. I love her so much. And the hair and the hair up and down looks so nice. I love that, giving me very Jan Brady. Um, and she does have a couple little flyaways there. But we're gonna try her next look on and see what that's like. So hold on just a minute. Okay, so I am back, and here she is in her second look, and I love it. This is like a suede, like mauve or dusty rose type skirt with this little flounce. I love that, and the black and white polka dot top. I like the sweetheart color on that with the, like a Swiss dot almost on that sheer fabric. It looks so cute, and then a little ruffle at the collar there. Really, really sweet. I think the second look also looks really nice, and it and it it's like in keeping, I think, um, with the look. You wouldn't think so, being that it's so different from the summer dress here, but I think it looks really, really pretty. And also, again, with her little, it's very Chanel-inspired little um, sunglass, pocketbook, cell phone, little um, crossbody bag. They're really pretty. Love that this 
red um, ribbon still works out really sweet with the look. And I couldn't be more pleased. I really am. You know, Juni Moon has got a lot of wonderful things. And, you know, their prices do go up and down with the status of the yen. But right now, the prices are really, really good. So if you want to look at a nice stock Blythe for a really good price, you get a second look. Sometimes you're spending upwards of $30, $35 on Blythe clothes. And here you get the second look with the doll. So that's a nice way to offset it as well. The prices are really fair, if you ask me, compared to a lot of dolls. I'm looking now at a Barbie set that's coming out, and it's $100. So, you know, for just a few dollars more, sometimes, you know, $40, $50 more, you've got a gorgeous, gorgeous doll. You know, I, I can't go on and not enough about Blythe. I mean, you know, she is my number one girl. And, um, you know, just to have a little breather from all the other dolls, sometimes it's a nice um, pullback, a nice getaway. And um, everything came fairly quickly. I mean, I did order a few pieces, so they did come in, you know, um, here and there. But by and large, it was a really fast ship, lots to choose from. And I, I really think I got a beautiful doll for what I paid for her. And as I say, those prices do um, fluctuate with the yen, but oh my goodness, she is well worth it. I love her. And let's face it, if ever down the line or down the road you ever want to sell your dolls, you know that you're going to get your fair market value for these dolls, and they do uh, go up in price. So it's always a win-win when you get a Blythe. Um, that is beautifully made and just so wonderful. So I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank, once again, Tammy and Karen for inspiring me again to uh, go back to Junie Moon and get some more dolls. So many fun things. Look forward to seeing you again real, real soon, my friends. And I'm hoping that you're enjoying your summer and making the most of it. Have an awesome day. We'll see you soon. Bye.